next on your Tiger TV morning show. The war in Ukraine. We're following the developments and have a first-hand account of the terror. Plus, Middleton students, Governor Ron DeSantis, and the controversy over masks. We spoke to the Tigers involved in that story that made headlines across the country. And no money, no problem. We've got spring break ideas for you that won't cost a dime. Your Tiger TV morning show starts right now. Tiger TV Network, your source for news and information here at Middleton High. I'm Leif McCowie. And I'm Sadat Murakumbi. Our top story this Friday, March 11th, the conflict in Ukraine. War in Europe. Not just a week away anymore, Russia has invaded Ukraine. For the past couple of weeks, if not months, Russia has been staging troops around Ukraine for what they claimed were military training procedures. We now know that this was in preparation for their invasion of Ukraine. On February 21st, Russian President Vladimir Putin declared that Russia formally recognized the independence of the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republic and authorized a military force to enter those territories of Ukraine. Three days later, he announced a special military operation to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. Of course, we all know that this serves as a euphemism for Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Russia has been sending constant missile and artillery attacks to many large cities in Ukraine, including military and civilian targets. I've been following one Ukrainian citizen who stayed behind. Listen to what he has to say. So we had our, our first air raid alert at night. Uh, we had three or four the, during the daytime, and no, the first at night. It was two o'clock in the morning. And so that you know it's real, it's not fake. Let me show the people. There's kids. You see? The Ukrainian people have been miraculously holding steadfast against the might of the Russian army, which has been suffering from major logistics issues and constant attack from guerrilla fighters. However, this has all come at a cost to the Ukrainian citizens who are currently undergoing a massive refugee crisis. For those who choose to stay, conditions are morbid, with constant air raid warnings and missile strikes at civilian targets, including schools and hospitals. Just this Wednesday, Russia bombed a maternity and children's hospital, violating a temporarily agreed ceasefire that was to get those injured back to safety. Russian leaders have confirmed that this bombing was on purpose, claiming that Ukrainian forces had taken combat positions within the hospital. Tiger TV will continue to monitor the developments in Ukraine. Here at home, we're following another big story. You may have heard about the situation regarding Tiger students and Governor Ron DeSantis and masks at USF last week. I spoke with the students and Tiger and teacher involved in the incident that made headlines around the country. I'm here with students Eric Marshall, Liam Pivnichny, William Boo, Ananya's sister, and our teacher, Mr. Brightman, who were recently at a USF press conference with Governor Ron DeSantis. For a press conference at USF Wednesday, this happened. You do not have to wear those masks. I mean, please take them off. <laughs> Honestly, it's not doing anything, and we got to stop with this COVID theater. So if you want to wear it, fine, but this is, a, this is ridiculous. They were yelled at for wearing their masks, and I just wanted to interview them about how they felt. So, any of you, how did you feel about the governor's comments? Well, mostly uh, pretty indifferent about it. I mean, when he said it, you know, he just stayed, he was just stating his opinion. Um, it really didn't come off as like him trying to scold us or anything. I mean, you know, when we look back at the video, it does seem a little bit harsh, but in the moment, it was it was pretty mild. We didn't really think much about it. All right. What did Governor Ron DeSantis say? Well, initially, I was being pulled off at the time that the governor stated that. Uh, I didn't hear it initially. But I did uh, see it on the video, and I was taken back from it. Yeah. All right. And so some of you chose to keep your masks on. Some of you took your masks off, OK? Do any of you want to say anything about what you did that day after Ron just said what he said? Just that I took mine off because we were invited to his event. And it clearly turned into a very political thing. And you know his platform is 
that people shouldn't have to wear masks and don't need to, so I figured if I was going to be standing right behind him the whole time, I might as well just take it off for him since he invited us there. I more or less took it off because I thought it was a photo op in the, in the first place. So I figured, okay, might as well show my full face and not just because it seems a bit underwhelming to just be in the middle of a photo and just have this on. So, like, how are you? Instead of having the mask on covering how I actually look. Of course, well, we were called by the ABC News. Uh, Eric and I had personal interviews after the fact, and that went viral, so. My full report of the story is in today's edition of the Florida Sentinel Bulletin newspaper. Read more about what our Tiger students had to say about the matter and get Governor Ron DeSantis' response. That's in today's issue of the Florida Sentinel Bulletin. Sid, back to you. Finally this morning, and on a much lighter note, we're just a few hours away from the start of spring break. All that's going on in the world, funds are tight for many. But as Tiger TV reporter Tamisha Woods explains, there are many things to do in the area that won't cost you a dime. One of the most common and simple activities is to go to the park, such as High Park, which is on MLK Boulevard and North 32nd Street. Right down the street is Sentinel Park, which also operates as an e-board trolley and is one of many ways of getting free transportation around the city of Tampa. These trolleys can take you to many of the free activities around the bay, such as the events shown. These events and more can be found on the website Eventbrite for free and already paid for activities each week. Remember Tigers, cash is not required to have a good time, so go out and enjoy yourselves. I'm Tamisha Woods, now back to you. Thanks Tamisha. I don't know about you Lath, but I plan on catching up on some much needed sleep over break. Well, I'm taking a college tour, but I don't know. Some of these activities look quite appealing, so maybe I'll have to look into them. Well, here's what I know for sure. We are thankful you made Tiger TV Morning Show a part of your day today. I'm Leif McCowan. And I'm Sadant Marakumbi. Have a safe spring break. We'll see you again soon and make it a great rest of the day in the land of the mighty tigers. Let's go, let's go.